Welcome back, Deep Divers. Ready to uh, plunge into another fascinating topic? Always. Today, we're taking a deep dive into a paper that, well, let's just say it questions everything we think we know about the universe. Sounds intriguing. The paper's called, get this, The Holographic Principle Comes from Finiteness of the Universe's Geometry. Okay, that's a mouthful. It's a mouthful, Andy, a mind bender. Published in the journal Entropy, this paper explores the idea that, get ready for it, our 3D reality might actually be a projection. A projection, like a like a hologram. Exactly, like a cosmic movie projected onto, well, everything. Wow, where do we even begin to unpack that? Well, the paper starts with a pretty radical concept, a finite universe. Ah, uh, so challenging the idea of infinite space. Right, which is so ingrained in, like, our everyday thinking about space, you know? Yeah, it's a big shift. So help me wrap my head around this. Why a finite universe? Well, think about it this way. Um, if the universe were truly infinite, it could contain infinite energy. Right. Okay. I'm following so far. But physics tells us that infinite energy density in a finite space, well, that creates paradoxes. Things break down. Right, like those infinities that pop up in physics equations and cause all sorts of trouble. Exactly. And this paper suggests that a finite universe offers a way to avoid those problems. Okay, so a finite universe helps us sidestep some thorny physics problems. Hmm. But how does that connect to this whole holographic principle thing? So the holographic principle basically states that all the information within a given volume of space, like, say, this room, okay. can actually be represented on its boundary. Like, imagine a balloon. Okay, a balloon. Got it. All the information about what's inside the balloon, the air, the pressure, everything, can be encoded on its surface. But are you saying the universe is like a giant balloon and we're all just, like, information projected from its surface? That's the basic idea. My brain is officially doing backflips. And what's fascinating is that this paper argues that the holographic principle, this idea of information on the boundary, it emerges naturally if we assume a finite universe. Wait, so how do we get from a finite universe to a holographic one? What's the link? The paper talks about points in space. Okay, points, like physical points. Yeah, like the most fundamental, indivisible building blocks of space. Huh. And it argues that if there's a finite number of these points then the total information content within a given volume, well, it has to be equal to the information encoded on its surface. Okay, bear with me here. We've got this finite universe with a finite number of points, and that somehow leads to this idea that information inside can be represented on the outside. Precisely. And this is where entropy comes in, right? But <laughs> I'll be honest, when I hear entropy, I think messy bedrooms, not like... The cosmos. It's a common association. We often think of entropy as disorder, but in this context, entropy is also a measure of information. Information? How so? Imagine each of those points in space holding a bit of information. Like a tiny cosmic hard drive. Exactly. The more points you have, the more information you can store, and the higher the entropy. So this paper is saying that all that information, all those bits from all those points, they're encoded on the universe's outer boundary. That's the idea. And it leads to some pretty mind-blowing implications, especially when you start thinking about things like black holes. Black holes. Okay, yeah, now we're talking. But <laughs> hold that thought, because we're going to dive into that fascinating rabbit hole right after the break. So where were we? Ah, uh, yes. Black holes and the holographic principle. Yeah, you were about to blow my mind with how those two connect. Well, one of the things this paper explores is this idea of holographic magnification. Magnification. So things appearing bigger than they actually are. Yes, exactly. Is... Imagine you're looking through a magnifying glass. Okay, I get that. The object appears larger because the lens is spreading the light. Now think of the holographic principle as a kind of cosmic magnifying glass. Okay, I'm intrigued. It's suggesting that projecting information from that 2D surface onto our 3D reality creates a magnification effect. So our perception of distance... Could that be like an illusion stretched out by this holographic projection? That's what this paper is proposing. And the author gives some pretty wild examples. Like what? Well, imagine shrinking our entire solar system down, down, down to the size of a small city. Wait, the whole solar system, the sun, planets, everything squeezed into like a few hundred kilometers. Yep. That's the kind of scale we're talking about if we were to project it back onto that 2D surface. Wow, so distances in space might be way more compressed than we think. And it's not just the solar system. Think about the distance to the nearest star system. Proxima Centauri. The one and only. That distance could shrink dramatically when measured on the 2D surface. Okay, this is seriously mind-blowing. Does this holographic principle affect anything else? Well, the paper even suggests it could explain why the weak force has such a short range. 
The weak force. Remind me, which one is that again? The force responsible for radioactive decay. Ah, uh, right, right. It only operates over incredibly tiny distances, much smaller than even an atom. Right. So the paper proposes that this apparent short range might actually be because its true scale on that 2D surface is even smaller than the Planck length. The Planck length, that's like the smallest possible distance, right? Exactly. So it's like the weak force has been magnified to appear larger than it truly is. Okay, I'm officially hooked on this holographic universe idea. Yeah. But I have to ask, are there any physicists who, you know, push back against these ideas? Oh, of course. There are always questions and critiques. One of the big ones is about the very concept of a point in space. What, like those fundamental points you were talking about earlier? The very same. In quantum gravity, the idea of a point gets a little fuzzy. Fuzzy? What do you mean? Well, quantum mechanics tells us that at the smallest scales, things like position and momentum become uncertain. Right, like you can't know both at the same time. Exactly. And this fuzziness raises questions about whether the concept of a point even makes sense when we're dealing with quantum gravity. So how does this paper address that? It acknowledges that these minimum length scales, like the Planck length, do complicate things. But it argues that these minimum scales are actually crucial for resolving some of the infinities we see in physics. So instead of being a problem, they're a solution. In a way, yes. They prevent things from going completely haywire. And remember, this paper is presenting a fresh perspective. It's not claiming to have all the answers, but it's opening up new ways of thinking. Which is always exciting. It's like looking at a familiar landscape from a completely different angle. But let's bring this back down to Earth for a moment. What does all this mean for us, you know, non-physicists trying to grasp this cosmic hologram idea? It suggests that our perception of reality, you know, with its vast distances and 3D structures, well, it might all be kind of a grand illusion. So we're all just characters in some cosmic movie projected onto a giant flat screen. It's a mind-bending thought, isn't it? And it raises the question, what's the nature of that 2D surface? Is it physical? Yeah. Mathematical? Something else entirely? Whoa. Now you're really making my head spin. We're getting into some deep philosophical territory here. We are. And this paper, even though it's rooted in physics, it definitely opens up questions that go beyond the traditional boundaries of science. It's like we're peering into the depths of the unknown. And the more we see, the more we realize how much more there is to discover. Exactly. And that's the beauty of it all. This deep dive has certainly sparked my curiosity. But before we wrap up, I want to touch on some of the criticisms of the paper. You mentioned that some physicists have reservations about applying the holographic principle to the very early universe. Right. The conditions right after the Big Bang were so extreme, densities and temperatures unlike anything we see today. I can imagine. And some physicists question whether the holographic principle, at least as we currently understand it, can fully account for those extreme conditions. So it's possible this cosmic movie projector had some, like, glitches in those first few frames of the universe's existence. It's possible. We're still learning and refining our understanding of physics, especially when it comes to the very early universe. Makes sense. It seems like every new discovery in physics just opens up more questions, which I guess is what keeps it all so fascinating. Absolutely. The journey of discovery never really ends. Well said. And speaking of journeys, this deep dive has taken us on a wild ride through some truly mind-blowing concepts, but all good things must come to an end. And it's time for us to wrap up this exploration of the holographic universe. It's been a pleasure diving into this with you. Likewise. Now, for our listeners out there, as you go about your day, take a moment to look around with fresh eyes. Maybe that coffee cup on your desk is actually a projection from a 2D coffee stain on the edge of the universe. Or maybe that traffic jam you're stuck in is just a cosmic shortcut across some hidden dimension. Keep those questions coming, keep exploring, and who knows, maybe you'll be the one to unravel the next layer of this cosmic onion. That's a wrap for today's deep dive. Until next time, stay curious. It really makes you wonder what other mysteries are out there just waiting to be uncovered. Oh, I'm sure there are countless more. So as we wrap up this deep dive into the holographic universe, what's one key takeaway you'd like our listeners to ponder? Hmm. I think the biggest one is that our perception of reality, well, it might be a lot more complex than we realize. Definitely more complex than we tend to assume in our everyday lives, that's for sure. This holographic principle, it really challenges us to rethink some pretty basic things like space, volume, even distance itself. It's like we're looking at reality through a funhouse mirror and everything is distorted. 
In a way, yes. And who knows, maybe this idea, this holographic principle, could completely revolutionize our understanding of the universe. It's a powerful reminder that there's always more to learn, always more questions to ask. Always. The journey of discovery never truly ends. Well said. And on that note, I think it's time to wrap up this episode of The Deep Dive. It's been a fascinating journey. Listeners, as you go about your day today, take a moment to look around you with a fresh perspective. Yeah, maybe that coffee cup on your desk or that tree outside your window. It's all just a projection from some mind-boggling 2D reality. Keep those questions coming. Keep exploring. And who knows, maybe you'll be the one to make the next groundbreaking discovery. Until next time, stay curious, deep divers. See you on the next deep dive.